everyone it's been a little while since i've done a video but we're going to be making a junk journal now i've started it off we've got a piece of card in here which was just the backing of a um like a coloring book or something so it's just a thickish bit of card so i thought it'd be really good for this and i've stuck on two pieces of paper exactly the same just came out of a cheap book i picked up from uh, the works i believe it was so yeah, it's just a cheap because he's colouring book, but I actually love the pictures. It's so bright and cheerful. So I've got to have a nice bright and cheerful one. And we now have a folder ready to go. So I've got the, the actual outside case. Literally just double-sided tape underneath and put the paper on. Like I say, I did that a little bit wrong when I started it, but that's fine. It will work. It's not a problem. So the next thing I need is to put a couple of holes in. And oh, I got stuck on the side. My magnets off my uh, box it board. So we have here my hole punch. I'll make sure I get it right in the middle. I'm doing it on the three sixteenths hole size. Try and get it to make sure it's centered. I'll pop that through at the end. And the same here. Try and it isn't centered. I'm really bad at this bit, am I? So if I fold it, I might actually see where I'm centering it better. Oh wait, there we go. There we are, that's better. So I've got one offset and one not. <laughs> so let's do this side again. It's going to be in this right position. I've just got to get it in the middle. There we go, that's better. That's better. I've got an extra size hole there, but never mind. It's not a big problem. Once I put the string and everything through it, it'll be absolutely fine. So, pop this back down. Right, so, got the cover ready. Now the next thing is to get the signature pieces ready. So, I shall grab those and you can see, you can see what I've done there. It's, this hole's nicely centred. This hole's slightly off. But I'm not going to worry, it's my first journal. So, we'll see how we go. Right, let's just grab the signature pieces and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've just grabbed out some papers. I've got here some avocado stains paper. Uh, this is just a bit of a diary thing. I actually love the design on it. It's a really lovely flower pattern on here. And uh, these are tea and coffee stained ones. I'm not sure which is which because I did a big batch together. This piece just a piece of card. This one is printer paper. This one is a piece out of a um, pattern paper book, card making book. Some lined paper. Again, lined paper, but on this one I put a couple of doilies on. I put a doily on it. And it's left a wonderful pattern one the way through. This is square doily, but I did have a round one obviously for that. Again, a couple more pieces out of a um, book. This piece of the grease piece paper which I'm going to see if I can incorporate in this and we also have oops, some smaller pieces a few tickets and things here Also got some uh, marble pieces of paper. I did these with just some um, basic inks, some macro hot inks. to arrange all of this one.
pretty good. And these pieces I'm going to use to make pockets with. I'll just cut this one down. Leave the jagged edges because I quite like that on both of these. Take this one, put this one across. Uh, so one, two, three, five pages in. Put that one in. I might trim it down. It's sticking on the edge. We'll see. Uh, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In there. I've got about 13 pages, I believe. You don't want it to be vicious. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. That'll give us 26 when we fold it and then double it again, it gives us 52 pages. So fold it in. Get the signature together, it's sticking out quite a bit. So, what I might end up doing, I might just trim down there, but I'll take this bit off for now. Okay, so we have our basic book. So, what I need to do now is pop my holes in. Make sure those are in the middle. Get my machine back. I haven't changed the setting, you've just got it set on the side here. And we're set at about one and a half inches, I believe. It's about one and a half inches. Bring this in. This side, not nice and tight together. I like this fact that it's got this wedge here, so I can keep it all tight. I am eyeballing it, I'm not much of one for measuring as a rule. There we have the holes all through together. Let's clean that up in a minute. Yeah, until I actually secure it properly. Just there we go. So now I can see better all that's sticking out. So I do actually want to trim that to get a nice tidy edge or tidier edge. So I'll just get these scissors here and just chop down. That's scraggy. Move it off. I do actually quite like the rough edges, so that's really nice. Now, all this paper that I've just cut off here, don't worry about it, it won't go to waste. So I have got a box behind me, apart from the greaseproof paper, obviously, I'll go in the bin, I'm afraid. But I'm going to try and make some paper, that'll be a future video once I've collected up enough scraps. I'll show it, make myself some paper, so that should be quite fun, shouldn't it? And I've just noticed the one I've got here, which has got the days on it, so that could be at the top of the book. Make sure it's up that way when I put my pockets and things in. So, I will trim that off. There we go. Hi, uh, thank you for watching the video. I'll be doing the junk journal in different stages because there's going to be quite a lot going into that. But in between, I will put a few other videos out. So we're doing some card making and paper making and all sorts of other things. Wait and see what's coming. Great to see you again. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.